This is Julie Callista, for editor for ASM International, representing the Heat Treating Society. We are here at the Mini Materials Camp setup, where tomorrow the students will come in and see demonstrations. Today we are lucky enough to have John Pepler from ASM International. How are you doing today, John? Thanks for joining us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the demonstration that you're going to be doing tomorrow for the students. This is part of a demonstration we're doing tomorrow. It's a simple demonstration, but it, it's a, an important uh, process for heat treatment of steels and that uh, lets us uh, heat treat steel so we can do it in many different applications from gears to auto body, uh, very soft metals that we can bend and form a lot. What we have here is, a, uh, is an iron wire and uh, we have the ability to run current through that wire. When we run current through the wire, it's, the wire's gonna heat up, and when things heat up, it's gonna get longer, so it's gonna sag down. And if we watch closely, when we, uh, when we go through a certain temperature, we're gonna go th from a face-centered cubic structure to a body-centered cubic structure. And that's a, an important uh, phase change in steels because you can have a lot of carbon in a face-centered cubic structure, and uh, steels are iron and carbon, so there's room, we're trying to show with this model that there's room for carbon atoms in a face center cubic structure, and there isn't in a body center cubic structure. So when we cool down, we get many different phase changes that we can uh, that we have, and we'll see one here when we turn this on. I'm gonna heat it up, and you'll see the wires start to go down slowly. We'll get to a point where we're putting enough current that it glows red, and that's getting close to where the phase change will be. It's starting to glow red there. And we see it stop and then slump down further as it gets hotter. Now if I turn it off, we'll see it. See that little jog in the wire? That was it cooling down enough to go through the phase change. And you, and instead of just it cooling and getting shorter, we had a phase change, and that was that change in the speed of cooling of the wire. Great. Thank you so much, John. Thank you.